God's blessings to you as we gather for our weekly reflection on faith, justice, peace, and community. I pray that these reflections might stir within each of us a greater desire to come to know the God of love, beauty, mercy, justice, and peace, seeking to be spiritually fed in order to better honor God's love and faithfulness to us in the ways that we care for ourselves and for each other. My sisters and brothers, the scriptures for this coming Sunday focus us on unity of purpose and integrity in living the mission given us by Jesus Christ. It is interesting that both the first reading from Exodus and the gospel highlight the questioning of the followers of Moses and Jesus as to whether others who are not in the inner circle of leaders and disciples can still preach and heal in the name of God. Both Moses and Jesus are clear. If the spirit of those who do so is pure in its intent to help others, then we want to encourage them to continue to do so. There is no lack of people who hunger to experience the love of God. As Jesus tells us, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Needless to say, there are people who are part of different faith traditions and Christian denominations who demonize others who are trying to spread the love of God. Any such group that needs to put down another in order to validate their own religious practice, I believe needs to reassess its own purpose and limited view of the multiplicity of ways that God works to express his love in the world. Even within the Catholic Church, we have people who have a litmus test for who can be a Christian disciple or not based on issues of life, religious practice, and every ism created by human beings to discriminate against others. Jesus calls us to an internal examination of our own biases, using some pretty graphic examples. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. If your eyes cause you to sin, pluck it out. If it is better for you to enter into life maimed, crippled, with one eye, rather than face the eventual death of your spirit. He calls us to claim our implicit and explicit biases towards others and seek his help in healing us of those things that can limit us and even worse, which can limit others from sharing the fullness of their unique God-given gifts with others. There is enough division in the world without us fighting among ourselves to claim some special status or superior, superiority regarding others. This is so contrary to a belief that we are all made in the image and likeness of God, all precious children of the Creator. May our lives reflect this more and more in all that we say and all that we do. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family here at St. Agatha, I want to thank you for all the ways you continue to allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. We hope you will join us this Sunday for our Masses in person at 8 and 10.30 a.m. or online at 8 a.m. and available online afterward. No matter in person or online, we hope to see you there. Thank you in all things. Be blessed.